All right, let's take a look at how we can use tables to help us out and use our graphing calculators to do that. Uh, so when you start yours up, when you turn it on, uh, you might get a screen that looks like this. It's blank. It might have some math in it. Um, we're going to use these top row buttons for our tables. Uh, these are the same top row buttons we used for uh, when we graphed. And so we can use those same type of things. Our table function itself is actually at the top right. It's right above the graph button, but it's in blue. So to access any of the blue buttons, remember you have to hit the second button first. And when you hit the second button, you'll know you pressed it because I don't know if you see this cursor or not, but right now it's solid dark. If I hit it, it has a little up arrow. So that means it's going to use anything above the buttons. And so if I want to do table, I would do that. By the way, if you want to do anything in green, you would hit the alpha button first and then you would do green. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and hit um, second graph. That's going to bring me to a table. Now, depending if someone had an equation in there before, this might be filled in, or in my case, it's blank uh, because there's nothing in the calculator yet. Uh, to use the tables, we're actually going to have to put equations in that it will calculate the table. So to put our equations in, uh, we're going to hit y equals. Now, by the way, when you hit clear, it doesn't do anything here. So just as a reminder, if you ever get into something and you don't know how to get out, you can always hit second and then mode, which is gives us to our quit button, and that'll always get us back here. So if you get into something and you don't know how to get out, you can always quit it. Uh, but to use our table today, we're going to hit the Y equals button. This is the same button we hit to get into graphs. And so if I wanted to look at a table for, let's say we're doing an exponential like we were doing, so 2 raised to the x, and I didn't want to have to type that into my old calculator over and over to get the cable. 2 to the negative 2, 2 to the negative 1, 2 to the 0. Yeah, I can hit graph, and it'll show me the graph of that, but I can also hit second and then graph, and it takes me to the table. And when it takes you to the table, you'll be able to see that um, you can move up and down with these, and you can look at different parts of the table. So if you want to know where, in this case, if you look at the graph, there's an asymptote, and you want to just make sure you know where the asymptote is, you can look at this and say, yep, at negative numbers, it looks like this is getting close to zero. So it's 0 0.002, and then it's in scientific notation. You can also move down to look at any part of the table you want. There's other ways you can move around this table pretty quick, but the up and down arrow is probably going to be the easiest way for you guys. Uh, so again, when you're there, if you want to get to a table... You hit the Y equals button, and then you would type in your equation. It doesn't matter what type of equation it is. It could be 3X plus 8, and you're curious what it is when X is 5 or X is 6 or X is 7. Yeah, you could hit graph, and you could look at it, and you could trace and zoom and look. But you can look at very specific, um, very specific uh, answers in your table by hitting second and then graph, which brings you to the table button. So second table and then I can scroll up and down. So when X is 2, Y is 14. When X is 3, Y is 17. And um, you can kind of make you know, changes to your stuff as well. You can hit Y equals uh, as well to get back and you can change it. You can actually have more than one in there. And if you have more than one equation in there, you'll see two tables, one for the first function and one for the second. So in the first function, when x is 0, y is 8. In the second function, when x is 0, y is 1. So you can put multiple things, as many as you can put equations, you can make tables for. Normally, we make one or two tables at, at most and, and kind of go through that. And again, after you're done using the table or the graph, yeah, you can hit y equals and graph, but if you want to go back to the main screen, you just hit second quit. So y equals, type in your equation. Remember the x button is right here, so if you need to do x, it's next to the alpha key. You type it in. If you want to go right to the table, you hit second, graph, and it'll bring you to the table. You can scroll up and down using those left and right arrows, and I think you would be pretty good for that. To get out of the table, if you want to just put in a new equation, you just click y equals. If you want to look at the graph, you just hit graph. And if you just want to do some basic math again, you can hit second quit. Um, only other things to kind of be careful of is if you want to put fractions in here, there's a couple ways you can do fractions. If I want to do one half, you can just type in one divided by two. You can just use the divide key. Um, so one half is the same as one divided by two. And then you could put your x. Or if you wanted to, remember we talked about you could use your math functions and you could go over to fractions. 
So again, this is if you want to put a fraction in. You could hit the math, go over to fractions, numerator over denominator, and we could put in one half this way by using the up and down arrows to fill in. Now, after you put in the two, if you put in an X here, it puts it in the bottom. A lot of times you don't want it in the bottom. You want it um, up top. So that's why that little right arrow is pointing. If I hit the right arrow, it lets me kind of move around. So do I want to be in the bottom of the fraction? I can hit up to get into the top of the fraction. Or I can hit over to get out of the fraction. So if I want to type in something like 1 half X plus 3, uh, I could do that. So again, that's just using math. Moving all the way over to my fraction button. Selecting one for numerator over denominator and then putting in a fraction if I need to and then using the up and down keys to move around that fraction and then noticing that right arrow to get out of the fraction. So I might have to hit it a couple times. Looks like when I was up at top I had to hit the right arrow once, twice, three times before it let me put my X on the outside. If I wanted to see that graph I would hit graph and if instead I wanted to see that table I would hit second then graph. So hopefully this makes sense, and you guys got a good sense of how to use your graphing calculators. As always, if you have questions, let me know. Good luck.